Welcome to lesson one. My name is Joseph. Thomas Decker, the English dramatist, once said, "Sleep is that golden chain that ties health and our bodies together." Unfortunately, for many people in our postmodern society, that chain is in danger of being broken as sleep problems become ever more prevalent. A recent study by the Center for Disease Control reported that approximately 50 to 70 million American adults report sleep difficulties or disrupted sleep. Sleep loss has been linked to a range of physical and mental health issues: short-term memory impairment, lower levels of happiness, feelings of depression have all been linked to sleep loss. Work-related and driving. Accident rates are also thought to increase as a result of reduced cognitive speed and efficiency, which in turn is related to sleep loss. If the short-term sleep loss is not remedied, there is a risk that it may become chronic, and that would present serious health and well-being challenges. So, what do we do? Well, attempts to remedy poor sleep. Include the pervasive use of pharmaceutical sleep aids. Unfortunately, as we all know, they come with a list of negative side effects. In the United States, a survey suggested a staggering 293 percent increase in the number of sleep-related prescriptions, from 5.3 to 20.8 million prescriptions over a 10-year period. Pharmaceutical aids have been linked to negative side effects that increase with long-term use, including nausea, dizziness, dependency and withdrawal, amnesia, seizures, and even an increase in mortality. Given the prevalence, cost, and potentially harmful side effects of pharmaceutical sleep aids, it is clear that the search for low-cost non-pharmaceutical alternatives. Aid has become a priority. Now, how can we use music as a sleep tool? Well, music has many promising neurological and physiological effects that may be indicative of its effective use in the fight against sleep loss in the clinical and therapeutic settings. Music enhances sleep because of its effect on the regulation of hormones. For example, as the brain interprets sound waves coming into the ear into electrical impulses, a cascade of physical effects is triggered within the body. Now, many of these effects promote sleep or reduce things that interfere with sleep. Studies have shown that music triggers the release of dopamine. Dopamine is the feel-good hormone. Music also decreases cortisol levels, which is related to stress. It also regulates heartbeat, and in so doing, calms you down. Music has also been shown to decrease negative thoughts. Clearly, as you can see here, music has a lot of benefits, especially as related to sleep. Support of this claim has come from a recent Cochrane report that reviewed. The music for sleep literature, and concluded that the daily use of music prior to sleep was effective in improving overall sleep quality. As you can see here, music's potential for successful use in therapeutic, clinical settings, and even personal environment makes it a viable, low-cost, side-effect-free option in treatment of sleep loss. I have prepared a special song to go with this lesson. As the music plays, I want you to reflect on everything we've talked about and see how you can incorporate music into your sleep routine. Enjoy.
see you on lesson two, where we answer the question, can music help me sleep? <laughs>